due process. Winner of 25 regional Emmy Awards, including the 2014 New York Emmys for our coverage of criminal justice and current affairs. Due Process is a presentation of Rutgers School of Law Newark and the Edward J. Blaustein School of Planning and Public Policy. Studio facilities provided by the Rutgers ITV Studio, Division of Continuing Studies. It's torture. It's torture in it. And they really, uh, it's, it's, it's a secluded area, dark area that, that can be, uh, anything can be executed back there in solitary confinement. And Tyrone Barnes should know. He spent 20 years in state prison, much of it in a cell alone, for 23 hours each day. Now he's out, Good evening. a paralegal, and part of a movement to fight a system that in New Jersey alone isolates more than 1,500 inmates. Solitary, up next, on Due Process. Major funding for Due Process provided by the Fund for New Jersey, supporting informed citizens for an effective democracy. Additional funding from the New Jersey State Bar Foundation. As a criminal defense lawyer, I've been inside jails and prisons countless times. I'm Raymond Brown, and every time I walk out the steel door, drive out the gate, I'm flooded with relief that I'm not the one locked up. Now imagine you're in lockdown, not just imprisoned, but confined to a space not much bigger than your bathroom for 23 hours a day. I'm Sandra King, and on this edition of Due Process, a new effort to do away with solitary confinement a condition most of us know only from what we've seen on film and TV. Solitary, the whole, segregation, isolation. Chapman, how are you? I'm in a cement box and people are screaming. You needed a little time out to think about your behavior. From the edgy TV of today, to the classic count of Monte Cristo, or closer to home. Put this man in the hole, 90 days. The Trenton-based tale of Hurricane Carter. Away from me. With Denzel depicting the hell of isolation. God. More extreme than what you'd find in New Jersey today? Most likely. There is no such thing in the state of New Jersey. It's not, this is not Shawshank Redemption where the guy's locked in a box and somebody opens up the door 30 days later and the sunlight comes in. But those who've been in solitary for months. I only served 90 days in um, ADSEG and it, it was horrible. Or for decades. I was in last place for 22 years. Insist it is still no less than cruel and unusual. We lock down 22 hours one day and 24 hours the next day. It's torture. It's torture in there. Those charges are long-standing. What's new is the possibility of reform by legislation. I'm here on behalf of the ACLU of New Jersey. I'm also here on behalf of a coalition of advocates seeking alternatives to isolated confinement here in New Jersey. Appealing to a Senate committee to pass a bill that would mandate real change. Recent studies have shown that um, isolated or restricted confinement um, have, has grave consequences. I want to thank you uh, for listing this bill. A bill intended not to end all isolation, but to limit, monitor, control, and contain, especially for the most vulnerable inmates. Most notably among them are young people, developmentally disabled people, and me people who are already mentally ill, whose mental illness is, is, is exacerbated by the conditions of confinement. But can isolation create mental illness? We can't show you what solitary looks like in New Jersey. Corrections keeps us out. But the state of Maine allowed Frontline to see and film its isolation.